Hello, welcome to another Vista tutorial. Today we're diving into the best practices for prompting our custom GPT, Vista Video Maker. With our GPT, you can create videos directly in ChatGPT. Just provide a description of your video and or any other source content that you want the video to be based on. Watch our step-by-step -step tutorial on our YouTube channel to see how it works. For today, we'll cover how to prompt our GPT and all the ways you can do so to get the video you want. What's really great about the GPT is that you can directly ask it to tell you what it does and how you can prompt it to make your video. So if you ever forget or want to refresh, go ahead and just ask the GPT. For today's example, I want to make a product video based on our web page content. So I'll type in create a product explainer video about Visla's step recorder using this web page as the source and paste my web page link. I can stop here and let the GPT create my script. However, I'd recommend adding more information to help tailor your video. The GPT itself tells you that you can add the purpose and audience, content and style, length and format, and any other specific requirements. For this example, we can type in something like this. Under purpose and audience, I specify the target audience to be customer success and support teams with the purpose of introducing viewers to the feature and its benefits. Under style and content, I'll include the general information I want the video to focus on. If your source content covers a lot of topics, this is where you should specify which topics you want highlighted. I want the tone to be informative, professional, and exciting because I plan to post this on social media. As for length and format, I want the video to be about two minutes with 16 by nine format, which is the default aspect ratio. Now we're ready, click enter to generate your script. RGBT will give you a script broken down by scene with the voiceover and a visual description. If this looks good to you, prompt the GPT to create your video. However, let's say it needs tweaking. If you want the video to be longer, we recommend instructing the GPT to add more scenes and specify the average words you want per scene instead of just saying, make it longer. You can get very specific with your changes. For example, I want to keep the exact voiceover for scene three, five, and seven, but turn them into shorter scenes. You can instruct the GPT to do this and give an example of the first scene to help it understand. Additionally, if there are phrases or specific scenes that need to be rewritten, just instruct the GPT to do so. You can keep on refining your script by continuing to chat with the tool and really nailing down everything you want in your video. Now let's generate the video. Use the claim code to save your video to your Visla account. Going back to ChatGPT, let's talk about generating videos with uploaded files. If you have multiple files, like slides from presentation, make sure to name your files in the intended order. Then upload them to the chat and tell the GPT to create a video following the order of your image file names. This is great for creating instructional videos with already existing content. Additionally, once your video has been generated, you can create image assets for the video within the same chat. Instruct the GPT to create images for specific scenes and make sure to include information like brand colors, image style, and image aspect ratio. Similar to the script, you can instruct the GPT to generate new versions of the images until you get what you're looking for. Then just download them and upload directly to your video in Visla. The key to prompting with Visla Video Maker is to add as much information as you can and be clear about how you want the GPT to use that information. I recommend testing it out to see how it works best for you. And that's it for today's tutorial. With Visla's custom GPT, you have the flexibility to create the video script you want. Let us know if you have any questions about the Visla Video Maker and check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you soon.